You found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? the girl, Millicent. I will reward you in kind. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder, tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> Now, all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course.
who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? <sighs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Easier than expected. But why do I feel so? to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you. I would like you to have this, by way of thanks, a token though it is. I'm considering leaving, on a journey, with the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you, my name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. Greetings. Are you here for spirit, Juno? with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Moderica, the certified spirit tuner. Are you here for spirit? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the crafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Well, I took you now to retire out your own.
as if her time and technique have made her stronger. It is good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft. And it isn't easy. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <sighs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. 